Hi guys, this is Leo's here. I'm the marketing executive here at BS Education Services. In this video, I will show you three different migration pathways for international students. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do while I'm making this video. Make sure to click like, share, as well as follow me on my Facebook page, PR, PT, and RPR in Australia. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right, guys, let's do this. To make it easier for you to understand about the student migration pathways, I have prepared you these diagrams um, about different migration pathways for students. So as you can see right on top here, uh, you will start off as a student in Australia. Um, your subclass will be 500 if you apply after the 1st of July, 2016. So once you complete your study here in Australia, you will be uh, able to apply for a graduate visa, also known as subclass 485. To apply for this subclass 485, of course, you need to meet these two years uh, academic study. Um, in this video, I would not go into much depth about visa 485. Uh, I will do it in another video. Okay, so um, once you are on the visa 485, you will then have three different options to apply for PR. The first one is called the employer sponsorship. The second one is called the GSM. And the third one is called the business visa. Okay, um, so in this video, I will only talk to you briefly about each type because um, otherwise we would not have enough time. Okay, now let's talk about the employer sponsorship visa first. So to be able to apply for this visa, yes, you need to, of course, uh, have to got uh, an employer who's willing to sponsor you. As you can see right here, there are three different streams for this employer sponsorship visa. You start with direct entry stream, and then you got temporary residence transition stream. And last is the labor agreement. For the labor agreement, you pretty much don't have to think about these things because these two will be more likely to apply for you. Okay, so with the direct entry stream, like the, the, the name of the visa itself is a direct visa. So you got PR directly and they will have two subclass. One is ENS, also known as subclass 1S6. The other one is RSMS, also known as subclass 1S7. Okay, now to be able to apply for this visa, um, you need to have English uh, for IELTS 6.0 for each band um, and different requirements for each subclass right here. The second stream, which is a more um, traditional stream, uh, a more usual stream for international students, is uh, they will go through a two years of subclass 457s, which is a temporary skill work visa. Um, and then uh, after completing two years of this visa, you can then apply for PR, which is either through ENS or RSMS. Okay. Now, the other pathway is through the general skill migration. Okay, so if you want to apply direct PR, you have two subclass. One is 189, the other one is 190. If you want to apply for 189, make sure your occupation needs to be on the SOL, also known as the skill occupation list. And if you want to apply for the um, state nominated visa, make sure your occupation is on the CSOL, consolidated skill occupation list. Okay. Um, the, the benefits of, um, applying visa one at night is you have pretty much a lot of freedom after you got the PR. That's why the name of the visa itself is independent, right? You want to become independent as much as you can, which is what I always advise my clients as well as my students. Okay. However, if you could not find your occupation in the SOL, then you have no other choice, but to go for the CSOL. Um, okay, because in CSOL, your occupation list is way bigger. There's about 650 occupation in this list alone. Okay, the only limitation with this visa is that uh, you need to promise to the state's government that you will be there for at least two years. Now, the other subclass is called Visa 489, also known as a Skill Regional Provisional Visa. You need to... Uh, have this visa for you need to stay in the regional area for two years and working full time for one year. You don't have to work in the occupation that you are nominated, which is the beauty part of it. 
Then after those periods, you can apply for a PR, which is called the Skill Regional Visa, subclass 887. And the last pathway is for the Business Visa, which is uh, going to target more for people who have uh, good uh, financial background as well as good business background and uh, want to become entrepreneur in Australia.